So we're here at the Sleep Out at Covenant House, California in Hollywood. It's been an amazing evening so far. We haven't slept outside yet. We just had a wonderful dinner, and Octavio, who's one of the alumni here at Covenant House, sat down with us for an hour. We had dinner together, and he shared his story about where he came from and how he got to Covenant House, and now how he's a productive young man chasing his dreams and achieving his dreams here in Los Angeles. So I'd love you to share a little bit with people about how you got to Covenant House, what happened, and where you are today, because it was really an inspiring story. Well, you know, when I was seven years, seven years, seven years old, I used to live in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. And, you know, I came from a background of very abusive domestic violence. My mom was an alcoholic, and she suffered a lot of domestic violence. So I got very tired of it, and I decided to come to America when I was seven. And I used to live with my parents, with my grandparents. But they kicked me out when I was 13. And after that, I was living on the street until I was, eight, until I was 18. I passed through a lot of you know, sexual abuse, domestic abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse. And I just got tired. So when I, when I got kicked out when I was 13, I started living on the parks, on the streets, in cemeteries, and places where downstairs on buildings, empty buildings. Like he's gonna do it tonight? Yeah. I did a lot of times. You I'm know? only doing it for 12 hours. This guy from 13 to 18 lived but, on the streets. Yes, but I was a smart little kid. But you went to school the whole time, yeah. which is amazing. And I, yes, I was homeless. I was homeless, and I was just in school. You never saw me dirty because I, you know, I used to get home. I used to get school. They didn't. It was like I was waiting for the door to open to run to the restroom, clean myself, <laughs> and you know, put some gel. But I was always there. And I was the first one in and the last one to come out. <laughs> and you know, fortunately, like, when I got here, I was 18, I was in 12th grade, I was a senior, I graduated high school. Covenant House paid my graduation, my prom, they got me a big truck, they got me a free tuxedo, and you know, science therapy, I'm feeling so proud of myself. Now, I'm working on Beverly Hills, I'm a store manager of a restaurant subway. One of my goals is to be the general manager of six restaurants, and one of my big goals and one of my big dreams is to own one place like this. I want to own a, a homeless shelter. So to I help more be, like yourself as you share yes, it. Yes, to help more people because I know there's there's more generation coming after me, more people coming after me. There's another Octavius up there. There's you know there's a lot of homeless on this place, not only in California but in the whole world. Yeah. And what I love the best is that you're now coming back after being an alumni. I've been going, you know, leaving Mexico at seven years old, coming to this country illegally, and living here 13 to 18 on the streets, and coming to Covenant House. And after four years, when he left Covenant House, he had saved $18,000. Now he's going to his own beautiful apartment he was sharing with us. He's a manager of Subway in Beverly Hills, and he has much bigger and better goals. And someday, he wants to have his own shelter to help other youth like himself. So I know I'm really proud of you, everyone's proud of you, and you're gonna be helping so many more and that's what Covenant House is all about and why I'm here to support it and sleep out on the streets. So you can help show me the ropes of what I need to do? You just have to be on the middle of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that's what we're going to do. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. your Thank story, you so much. Thank Appreciate you it. Thank you. And much success to you.